chasing the police every single day. So what is your reasonable cause of suspicion for the ID then? Wait, didn't we talk on um when... No, I've never talked to you. No, not you then. I don't know who okay, it was. So civilly, okay, it rules that you have to abate it, which means cease it. Okay? Correct. So if we have to come out here again, you're getting a hundred dollar fine. Okay. And if you refuse to stop the bullhorn, you will be arrested for obstruction. Obstruction? Yes. But it's protesting. You but can't make... No, ceasing? No, no. It'd be ceasing it's... the orders. We, we, we respect your protest right. Clearly not. But when yeah, the pro-choicers totally. were out here, you didn't but give them this. That's not true. I was not even here for that. A bunch of... City Clerk's Office, this is Leah. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, I'm calling to find out where I get the permit to uh, use a bullhorn on a public sidewalk. Uh, Lipker, the Punta Gorda police officer, told a friend of mine that he has to get a permit to use a bullhorn on a public sidewalk. And I'm wondering where do I go to pay that and uh, what ordinance is that? Okay, sure. One moment, please. Are you still there? Yep. Okay, we're just looking into it. I, it's just another moment. Okay, can I make a comment a second? We we already have yes, a we ever already have an email from you uh, last year that states uh, if you're on a public sidewalk, you don't need a permit. And uh, and the uh, city manager was involved in the email. So was the police. So d did you pass something new? Uh, that's what because uh, you had asked about the ordinance. Um, I have Sarah looking into that. So um, that's where I sit. Just one moment. I'll see where she's at with that. Okay. All right. Yep. Hello, Mr. Sheep. I yep. understand you're trying to get a permit to use a bullhorn. On a public sidewalk, not the park, public sidewalk. Okay, if you would like to submit a request to uh, use a bullhorn, you're going to want to send that in, a written request to the city manager because city council will need to grant approval at a public meeting. Um, now, what I was just explaining to her, we have an email from you guys a year ago where the city manager and the police say in the email you do not need one for a public sidewalk and and in fact the democrats that want to kill babies uh just had a bunch of bullhorns on video and uh and uh on video and pictures and and the police weren't telling them to get a permit are you there yes i'm sorry i was trying to just uh pull up Chapter 14 of the Code of Ordinance. So yeah, you have one for the park. I already know that. So in streets, alleys, or other public places, I would recommend writing to the city manager. And which ordinance? Chapter 14, section 14-2. Chapter 14, section 2. Section two, it's streets, alleys, and, and what else? Other public places, what it says. Okay, and did so you... you did ask them for more information about that, because I don't know whether or not sidewalks would fall in that. That's not something that I interpret. So why don't you write to the city manager and ask him if uh, you would need a, a permit? And then if you do, they would be able to schedule a um, item a city council agenda. Uh, okay, does it say, when, when does it say on there the last time that they altered uh, that, that ordinance? What's the last date? Yeah, so, yeah, they didn't. Um, so, all right, Kevin Shirley wanted me to check with you guys, and I sadly, I, I think he failed, and Jesus still loves you anyways, though, okay? Thank you. Concerns regarding political demonstrators Tuesday, July 27th, 2021, 11.38 a.m. 0 Norman Narra to 2 Hawks 0105 at gmail.com. C.C. Gregory B. Murray, Jason Cheschini Public Safety Building, U.S. 41 and N Street, 
at approximately 6 p.m. and was scheduled to go until 9 p.m. at her not receiving much attention, they went to the downtown area, mainly near Leroy's, to continue their organized protest in hopes of getting more attention. We sent officers to the area when we received a call for service and confirmed that they were the same individuals conducting the organized protest and that they changed locations. We did not make contact with them as they were not committing a crime and we have an obligation to respect their constitutional right to protest. The City Code Chapter 14 Noise Ordinance which is a civil infraction does not apply because the noise is not coming from a premise. There is also a restriction to loud sound making devices in our parks if they are audible over 100 feet per chapter 16 of our code of ordinances, but this incident occurred in a public right of way. The Florida statute regarding noise by a radio or sound making device applies only to vehicles. We have consulted with the state attorney's office regarding the criminal charge of breach of peace. There are also limitations on this charge due to the need for witnesses who are willing to testify in court and case law concerning what is actually witnessed. The officer cannot be the victim of a breach of peace. Additionally, we may not arbitrarily place someone under arrest for uttering the F word or any other inappropriate word as we have to be cautious of protecting the First Amendment rights of all of our citizens. There would most likely need to be other factors in place before the state would consider charges, such as what was actually observed by the witnesses, the possibility of the words inciting a fight, etc. I would like to reassure you that we did have officers in the area and they remained in the area watching the protesters from afar until they left to ensure the safety of the public. Hopefully, you can see that the police department has been doing its best to address this issue within the confines of the U.S. Constitution, Florida Statute, and City Ordinances. My contact information is below. Please feel free to contact me in the future with any questions or concerns. Sincerely, Captain Norman Nara Operations Commander Punta Gorda Police Department 1410 Tamiami Trail Punta Gorda, Florida 33950941-575-5533, Office, 941-639-4111, Maine.